Okay, so I've made a bit of progress with that. I have been using it to outline areas, but I've also been putting on some quite big patches of colour. I'm almost, almost colouring the whole area, but not, leaving some of the white paper showing. Here, combining different colours. So outlining with the red, and then a little bit of that sort of very acidy green. It's very yellow green through there, but not all the way through. Know when to stop, and that's sometimes quite tricky. See, I've not gone all the way around the edge with the red. I've left some a bit. I could actually use that acid green now just to go around that bit there instead. So play around with it. Be, be really quite free with it. Okay. So I've got the majority of it done. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have some fun with my paint. So, and just to show you, I've just used a, an old plastic pot rather than throwing it away. Let's keep them. Let's look after our planet. Really keen on that. I'm very keen at that at GAA. So I'm now going to use, oh, I don't know, I spoke for choice. What should I do? I'm going to start with my favourite colour again. I'm going to start with this beautiful, this beautiful turquoise. And I'm going to think carefully about where that is going to sort of like really um, clash. So I'm going to use it over these colours here, over this patch. So I'm just going to wash it. Oh, it's quite thick, but it's quite deep that. I'm going to wash that through there. In fact, I'm going to go over quite a bit of it until it sort of runs out. Don't be frightened. No, really, don't be frightened of making a mistake neither. You know, because that's where the good stuff usually happens. And the mistakes is where the learning takes place. I bet you've heard that before and probably think, no, it's not, but it actually is. And it's very true. It can be annoying when things don't go right first time, but, you know, they can always start again. So I've sort of exhausted that colour now. Just I'm, All I'm doing, when I go back to, when I take a little break, I'm actually going to my water. I'm going to my water pot and I'm just using clean water. Or not so clean water now, it doesn't matter. If it does, that brings me actually, if your water does get really muddy and really dark and full of paint, change it and change it quite regularly. Okay, so now we've got that lovely wax resist, I've got that really nice deep, patch of colour there where I've not gone on with the crayon. Uh, let's use some bright yellow because the yellow will actually mix with the turquoise to create a green. You see what's happening there, it's starting to bleed into that turquoise. So I'm going to run some of that over there. And obviously if you work your Secondary colours, that's your orange and your blue, when you put those together, you might find that they run together and they'll create a brown. And that's generally what happens. If you mix your uh, secondaries together, you will get brown every time. So you maybe want to explore that and try it. And brown is called a tertiary colour because it's made up of three colours. Okay, it's looking rather nice, that now. Quite pleased with that. Where should I go now? Let's use some of this indigo blue. It's very, it is very, very. I'm just going to show you my paint palette. It's very, very dark, that indigo blue there. So I'm going to put a little bit in my tray and swirl it around so I can see it. And then maybe add a bit of water. So if you're using uh, 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 paints in tubes, you put a little bit out, just a tiny, tiny bit, and add plenty, plenty of water. Okay, I'm just going to carry on. Also, that's bled into my yellow. Oh, that's very bold. So I can just take the paint right the way through and then just put a little bit of water down there and it'll give me a little watermark and it'll just dilute the paint up the A. You see that? Like so. Oh, that's nice. Okay, a bit of orange. So I'm thinking quite carefully. I'm not just putting anything anywhere. I'm thinking carefully and that's due to the, doing this experimentation here. Yeah, that's also got my eye on what I want it to look. And I'm sort of repeating colour combinations that were successful there. Gave me a nice sort of fresh, colourful, bright result. Okay, I'm going to carry on now until I've finished it. And then I'll show you the end result. See you soon.